Hello, my friends. My name is Ron. This is As the Spirit Moves. I'm so glad to be with you today. It's been quite a while. A couple of days before my wife went to the hospital, my spine got offline. I'm not sure how, but your spine is straight. Well, my kinks on, and it's worked over. It's not the first time this happened. It's very painful, and it generally takes two or three weeks to try to work it back to straighten up the spine. If it does not straighten up, then that means surgery. But it's a painful experience, but the Lord was with me. I got my line straightened up. The pain is not so bad now. And I praise God. It's been a rough two weeks. My wife was in the hospital. A lot of things just went hayward, I guess. Hayward? Is that a word? Hayward? But anyways, I'm going to do part three called My Healing Journey Part 3. First week I talked about my healing when I was a child with a kidney disease called nephritis. The Lord just healed me. No lightning bolt, no nothing, but He healed me, delivered me. That would allow me to continue having a normal life. Of week two, I talked about my surgeries about eight years ago. My back needed surgery, my sciatic nerve, it was severed completely from a jagged edge of the spine. Even to this day, I still have things going on with my feet that done some nerve damage. I bond my feet with sometimes pins and needles, and also I got uh, nerve damage in my back. But praise God, I can walk. And the pain is not anything that I cannot live with. I am not on no more pain medications. God's been good to me. He touched me. I just got to be walking and living a normal life. Praise the Lord. Why do we get sick when we're trying to do everything right for the Lord? Why? We're reading your Bible, we're studying the Word of God, we're praising the Lord, we pray often. Why does this happen to us? I have no idea. I got my opinions. And sometimes it's the right place at the right time. Now, eight years ago, when I was in the hospital for two and a half months, I also had emergency surgery on, on my, uh, some kidney stones. Emergency surgery, and I also had an emergency surgery to have a pacemaker put in two different times in that two and a half months I was in the hospital. So sometimes the right place at the right time, but it's all within God's timing. A lot of times when we're serving God and we're doing something in His ministry and we're going strong, we're edifying God, edifying the people, same thing comes along and puts these things upon us. And God will allow it. He doesn't have but He will sometimes. And it's an opportunity to us to shine through, to witness. Even though everything's going wrong in the hospital and you're in pain, sometimes God allows us to go on so we can tell people about His love, show them that even though we are Christians, we are not exempt. For me, anything that happens in the world, we live in a world with a lot of sin. And living at sinful times, things happen to good Christian people. But it's our job to endure and to praise the Lord. Even though you don't feel it, you don't feel like it, you're too sick to, to really meditate on the Word of God, and your agony and your pain. But God is with us. And God would cut and gut me, God. I mean, it took a couple of weeks for my back to be manageable so I could get around. And it took my wife a couple of weeks to get her uh, gallbladder under control. And I promise you, handle a bit for your stomach. Big to God be the glory. The medicine does help, but God heals. Medicine may help the symptoms, but it does not take care of the problem. It just helps you deal with it. 
But where God heals you is for good. I've heard people taking medicine, and God healed them in such a manner they went off the medication and believed in God. Am I telling you to do that? No. That's between you and God, though, that God leads you to do. Back up anything you do by the Word of God, and God will be with you. When you're serving God, Satan will throw in his wrench to try to stop your ministry. It may slow you down for a spell, but it cannot stop it. And God has us back where we're supposed to be to bring praise and glory and honor to Him. No matter what goes on in your life, you should give a good report. God is still on the throne. God is with us. He loves us. And He allowed us to have more time in our life. So come back and continue to ministry. Even though these problems happen, I will not stop. I will not give up. I may slow down a little bit, but I'm no way I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop. We need to give a good report to the Lord. We need to edify one another and build one another up. We need to get rid of the fear of death. I was somewhat fearful of death not that long ago. It took a while to get, to, get, to get over it. One man, he was terminal, didn't have much time to live, but he was on his checkup with his doctor. The doctor was a Christian, so was the man. And so the, the man said to the doctor, his name was Bill, said, Bill said, Doctor, I'm kind of nervous about dying. I don't know what to expect. I know what the Bible tells me, but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared. And the doctor said, "Well, Billy, I'll tell you what. We always fear the unknown, but we know that no matter what, that God says He'll be with us. And when we leave this physical body, He's going to send the angels to take you to to be with them." And Billy, I, I, want, I want to show you something. And the dog, uh, the doctor brought his dog to work. And the dog was on the other side of the room, behind another door. And he said to the dog, uh, Rover, he's Rover, Rover barks. Woo, 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 woo. He said, okay, Rover, settle down. And it's Billy, and my dog. Is on the other side of the door. He's not barking up at first. He's not barking at all, though, because he knows I'm on the other side of the door. You know, that door is a separation between us, but not a very, a very small separation. He knows I'm there, so he's content and waits for me to come back and open the door. And that's what it is when you believe in Jesus. There's a, there's a door. A door to maybe another dimension, a dimension called heaven. And that's the doorway. As soon as we passed from a, from a physical to a spiritual, in a moment, a twinkling of an eye, we're no longer the physical, but in the spiritual. So you need not fear death. We know that God is on the outside of the door. I fear death no longer. And neither should you. We need to cast all your cares upon him. Cast all your cares upon him for he cares for you. That's in Peter, 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your cares upon him for he cares for you. God cares for you. That's when you get rid of the anxiety. Anxiety will take you, will make you physically sick. We need not be so anxious about things. God gives us His Word of God to direct us. He gives us all the information that we need. Now, when we go into the next place, heaven, you know, much, you understand much more. You no longer have to question things. But we must not let anxiety keep us back from serving God. We must keep on and never give up. 
No matter what happens in our physical body, God is in control. No matter what happens, we must trust in Him, must acknowledge Him, for God cares for us. I hope you have a great week. It's so good to be back that I can say hello, my friends. Hello. God take care of you throughout this week and may, and, and may you have many blessings and the joy of the Lord is our strength. So smile. Praise the Lord.